Hello welcome to channel tips thank you for re-watching the new videos we are talking about. 10 NBA records that no one seems to be able to break. Let's talk about basketball players now that you don't think that can do things that will set the record for them to become field the NBA record book is littered with unbreakable records, Ronald Martinez, Getty Images we've already said this a time or two, but records are made to be broken. While some records are relatively within reach, say, minutes per game, others look like they'll remain unchanged for another few decades of NBA play. It's unlikely that anyone will get as many technical fouls as Rashid Wallace, whose general attitude and incessant repetitions, think ball don't lie, or both teams played hard, my man. Both teams played hard. Made him a singular force, or at least a singular target, for NBA officials. We're not going to talk about those sorts of infamous records in this piece, even though we still miss Sheed's performances on the hardwood. No, this piece is for some of the most impressive achievements in Hoop's history, the sort of milestones passed only and exclusively by legends. With that said, here are the 10 most unbreakable records in NBA history. 1. Highest single season scoring average 10 NBA records that no one seems to be able to break Wilt Chamberlain retired with multiple unbreakable NBA records on his resume. Record, 50.36 held by, Wilt Chamberlain. Wilt the Stilt holds the top four single season scoring averages in NBA history, and no player has even come close to his record setting 1961-62 season. Over the last 25 years, the next closest per game scoring average was Kobe Bryant's 35.4 points per game in 2005-2006. 2. Most points in a single game. Record, 100 held by, Wilt Chamberlain. Chamberlain had six career games with 70 or more points, and no other player in league history has had more than one. None were more impressive than his 100-point effort on March 2, 1962, though. The next closest single-game scoring total has been Kobe Bryant's 81-point performance on January 22, 2006. 3. Most career rebounds. Record, 23,924 held by, Wilt Chamberlain. Not only will this record never be broken, we can't envision a scenario where another player even comes close. When Tim Duncan retired this offseason after 19 seasons in the league, he was 8,833 rebounds behind Chamberlain. The current leader among active players is Dwight Howard with 11,133 boards. 4. Most career assists 10 NBA records that no one seems to be able to break John Stockton handed out assists better than anyone in NBA history, Andy Lyons, Getty Images record, 15,806 held by, John Stockton. If you saw Stockton walking down the street, our guess is that you would never believe that he holds two unbreakable NBA records and is one of the greatest point guards in NBA history. The active career leader is Andre Miller, whose 8,524 assists are just over half of Stockton's total, and the next closest player, 31-year-old Chris Paul, has only 7,688 career assists. 5. Most career steals 10 NBA records that no one seems to be able to break John Stockton owns multiple unbreakable NBA records, Jim Rigosh, Getty Images record, 3,265 held by, John Stockton. Like his career assists record, Stockton's record of 3,265 career steals is also untouchable. The next closest active player is Chris Paul, whose career is on the back nine, with 1,793 career steals. 6. Most consecutive NBA titles 10 NBA records that no one seems to be able to break The Boston Celtics have 17 won NBA titles, Brian Babineau, Getty Images record, 8 held by, Boston Celtics. To put a little perspective on this record, no other NBA franchise has won more than three consecutive titles. This record will stand the test of time. 7. Most career NBA titles, single player, 10 NBA records that no one seems to be able to break Bill Russell has more rings than he has fingers, Elsa, Getty Images. Record, 11 held by, Bill Russell. It's hard to imagine a player reaching double-digit NBA titles ever again. The players with the best chance are 31-year-old LeBron James, who currently has three rings on his resume, and 28-year-old Stephen Curry, who has just one ring. For either player to have a chance, they would have to reel off seven or eight championships in a row before their 40th birthday, not going to happen. 8. 
Most career NBA titles coach 10 NBA records that no one seems to be able to break Phil Jackson has a pretty strong case as the best coach in NBA history, Jeff Haynes, Getty Images record, 11 held by Phil Jackson. Jackson's 11 career titles as an NBA head coach are six more than the active career leader, 67-year-old San Antonio Spurs head coach Greg Popovich. Don't expect to see this record be broken anytime soon. 9. Most wins in a single season 10 NBA records that no one seems to be able to break Stephen Curry led the Golden State Warriors to a league record 73 wins in 2015-16, Ezra Shock Getty Images record, 73 held by Golden State Warriors. The 2015-16 Warriors set a new record for most wins in a single season, but came up short against LeBron James and the Cleveland Cavaliers in the NBA Finals. While the Warriors broke a record that we had previously said was unbreakable, we just don't see them or anybody else ever winning 74 games in one year. 10. Longest winning streak 10 NBA records that no one seems to be able to break the Los Angeles Lakers display their championships, Ronald Martinez, Getty Images. Record, 33 games held by, Los Angeles Lakers. The Golden State Warriors came within five games of the 1971-72 Los Angeles Lakers record 33-game winning streak, but this is another record we simply do not see going down anytime soon. The current NBA is simply too competitive for a team to go on what would amount to a two-month winning streak. Statistics courtesy of Basketball Reference. Tags, Boston CELTICSCHICAGOBULLSLEBRONJAMESLOS -E -L -L -E Los Angeles Lakers. NFL Troy Aikman asks Jerry Jones the question everybody wants answered by Madeline Zegerson January 9, 2020 Troy Aikman is one of the most legendary players in Cowboys history. Formerly their quarterback, Aikman has become one of the NFL's most prominent analysts and color commentators. With his insight into how the team operates, Aikman shared his opinion on the Cowboys coaching situation as well as what he believes owner Jerry Jones should do. Troy Aikman's history with the Cowboys Troy Aikman, former Dallas Cowboys quarterback, hugs Jerry Jones, Cowboys team owner Troy Aikman, former Cowboys quarterback, hugs owner Jerry Jones, Ronald Martinez, Getty Images When Aikman comments on the Cowboys, he knows what he's talking about. As the Cowboys quarterback for 12 years, he racked up three Super Bowl titles. Only two quarterbacks in NFL history have won more, Joe Montana with four and Tom Brady with six. Aikman played under two successful head coaches. The first was Jimmy Johnson, a successful coach at the University of Miami Hurricanes before he coached the Cowboys. Johnson won two Super Bowls. After a power struggle, Jones replaced Johnson with University of Oklahoma coach Barry Switzer, who netted yet another ring for Dallas. The Cowboys have yet to find a coach who's been as successful as those two. And this includes their last coach. The Jason Garrett era. Jason Garrett coached the Cowboys since 2010. During that time he has an overall record of 85-67 with only three playoff appearances and one playoff win. Garrett has the second-longest head coaching tenure in franchise history behind only the legendary Tom Landry. Garrett's longevity was baffling, as the team was exceedingly mediocre over the course of his career there. The Cowboys hadn't advanced as far as the NFC Championship game, much less qualified for a Super Bowl. With his contract expiring, reports say the team was ready to move on. The Cowboys disappointed yet again this year, going 8-8 after a promising 3-0 start. They also missed the playoffs, losing to the Eagles. A stunning Week 16 loss to Philly essentially sealed Garrett's fate. The Cowboys needed an Eagles loss and a win over the Redskins in Week 17 to advance to the playoffs. The Eagles were victorious, knocking them out. With the team ready to move on, Aikman commented on what Jones needs to do to be successful moving forward. He did not mince words. The question Troy Aikman asked Jerry Jones. When asked what Jones should do regarding his coaching situation, Aikman hearkened back to his time as the team's quarterback. Since they were successful then, he reasoned, why not return to that formula? There are some teams out there that really want to win. I mean, everybody wants to win, right? But some teams will do anything they can and they don't even know where to begin. There is more than one way to win. I understand that and I appreciate that. 
But in Dallas, the way we did it, the only way it has been done under the Jones ownership has been with the head coach that everyone answered to. There was no question in the locker room who was determining our future and that was Jimmy Johnson. Why wouldn't you go back to what worked? Aikman has a point. Jones has too much control over the team and doesn't allow his coaches the agency needed to command respect in the locker room. If he'd like to win, he needs a coach he respects and trusts, and get out of the way. The Cowboys hired Mike McCarthy, former head coach of the Green Bay Packers, to fill Garrett's role. McCarthy has a Super Bowl ring and could get the Cowboys back on track, but will Jones allow McCarthy enough freedom to get the job done correctly? Tags, Jerry Jones NFL One reason Mike McCarthy is a terrible fit for the Dallas Cowboys by Madeline Ziegerson January 9, 2020 The Dallas Cowboys recently completed their search for a new head coach, hiring Mike McCarthy. After years, 